My placemats are super cute. So promised to do a tutorial number two on the coordinating placemats. So I've already cut up my fabric. I'm going to show you how to do it. It's very similar to the runner. Um, you're gonna love these. I'm going to use that solid blue grunge fabric as my main, and then I'm going to sew together some strips, and I'm gonna do it in a little bit different order since this is my main. Now remember, the goal when I sew these strips together is to put it over and cover all the way over to the edge. The pattern does have all the dimensions you need to be able to understand what sizes to cut these if you want it to match the pattern exactly. However, one of the things I love about the quilted cow patterns is it allows you to have some flexibility. So I'm gonna sew these strips together and then I'm going to show you how to sew them onto the background fabric. When you sew your strips together, you're going to lay them pretty side to pretty side. So I'm using some scraps from when I made the runner, so I'm not cutting them uh, with a fabric. I'm just making them fit with what I've got. Um, so the way you need to do this is we are going to sew right along here. We're going to fold it over like this, and we're going to sew right along here. All right, so I've sewed it on. You can see my seam right there. I'm folding it over and I gave it a good press. Now I'm going to take my ruler and I trim off this underlying fabric because I'm gonna put a piece of fusible interfacing behind it. Just be super careful when you do this that you don't cut the seam line. So I've cut my backing fabric and I decided to use that really big print with the words. And I'm going to take my front here and I'm gonna lay my backing fabric pretty side down on top of it. We're going to stitch all the way around with a quarter inch seam, leaving a pull through hole. And I'm gonna pin it and mark it so I don't sew over it. Then we're gonna flip it inside out and we're gonna top stitch next. Make sure you snip your corners so when you're turning it through, you're taking out that excess bolt through. Well, you gotta close the hole. And when you iron it, you wanna iron it really good so you've got this really nice little crease. And then you're gonna feed it through your sewing machine. Now you can do an eighth or a quarter depending on how far in your fold is. If your fold isn't very far in, you better stick with an eighth or you'll have a Hole. Now remember, this is going to show up all the way around your fabric, so drop your foot and go real slow. My placemats are super cute. See that cute little end? 